Dorothy. I see here in TV forecast that tonight is the night for those Miss U.S. Television Grand Finals. Oh, that's right. Say, you know, we ought to watch that because this is the first time in television that a girl has been chosen for her outstanding talent and beauty for the, to earn the title of Miss U.S. Television. Oh, I hope we haven't missed it. No, we haven't. In fact, it's time right now for the Grand Finals of Miss U.S. Television. And we can get it on our set. I'm Tish McCarley, Miss Houston TV. Gee, I hope you like me, because I'd like to become Miss U.S. TV. I'm Betty Ann Webb, Miss Tri-State Television. It sure would be wonderful to win a TV contest. I'm Beverly LeBlanc, Miss New Orleans TV. There's an awful lot of competition. I hope I win. I'm Patsy Judd, Miss Salt Lake City TV. I hope I can win tonight. I'm Ben Gottschalk. I'm not entered in this contest. I'm the grand finals chairman for this Miss Television of the United States pageant that's being held here at the Chicago Fair of 1950. <laughs> The Dumont Network is very happy and proud to present this first grand search for beauty and talent to find the girl that above all you'd like to see on your television set at home. Believe me when I tell you that these girls that you're going to see tonight represent all the results of weeks and weeks of searching and weeding out in the major television centers of the United States today. Over there on that map you see Huntington, West Virginia. Huntington, West Virginia. Huntington, West Virginia. And this is Betty Ann Webb from Huntington, and like all the rest of the 13 girls, Betty Ann, we hope that you win. Now, you're here, you're Miss Huntington TV, but where's your home, really? In Ashland, Kentucky. Ashland, Kentucky. Yeah, I love the way you say Ashland, Kentucky. And tell me something else. You represent the tri-states of Ohio, Kentucky, and West Virginia, don't That's you? That's right. You know what we fix for you? A beautiful place over here where you can sing. Would you like to do that? Yes. Betty Ann Webb. something? If our judges fall in love with you the way I did just now listening to you sing, you're in. Well, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I imagine by now each one of you have your own ideas on who's going to be Miss United States Television. We're going to try to show you the girls once more, this time in bathing suits, to help you along with your ideas. Miss Houston TV. Do you remember her? Letitia Tish McCauley. Remember she sang a beautiful song for you, the Basin Street Blues? 
Letitia Tish McClarley. Then the next girl was Betty Ann Webb. She was a mezzo-soprano, Miss Tri-State. Do you recall her from Huntington, West Virginia? And now tonight, the first finals of the National U.S. Miss Television Contest. I'd like to announce to everyone here in the audience, in the studio, to our 60,000 guests at the fair tonight, and to the many millions that are watching this program, our first winner. May I congratulate... Are you ready, Vin? I guess you got over there. May I congratulate Miss Edith Adams of New York City. <laughs> May I have the crown or the tiara for the queen? Tiara, that's a great word. <laughs> I'm as nervous as you are. Oh, nobody could be more nervous than I am right now. There we go. Now, don't bob your head too much. No, I won't. And some flowers. The tiara from Henry Brogoff, Edith, and these flowers. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the Miss U.S. television contest that you've just seen is a Walter Schwimmer production. This has been a Dumont Network teletranscription.